guys, what is happening? It's Ivan Ups everywhere. I have an awesome review for you guys. Um, notice a new setting. It's all like really sunny over here. Uh, I decided to change it up mostly because it's summer and uh, my room is getting a little boring and I kind of didn't want to do reviews in there anymore. So I hope you like this new background. It's, a, it's one of my nicer tables in my house. Anyways, it's Ivan Ups everywhere. Um, I have an awesome review for you guys on three really crazy cool um, backup batteries for iPhones, iPod Touches, Blackberries, HTC products, anything really. Uh, that you can find a cable for. So, these are all sent out to me by Richard Solo, so thank you again to them for sending this stuff out. Um, Dexum, I didn't know, really know how to, I got really confused, you know, Richard Solo, Dexum, how does this work? Uh, I guess Richard Solo owns Dexum, or Dexum is part of Richard Solo, I don't really know. Anyways, um, so these were all just sent out to me by Richard Solo, so thanks to them. So let's get started. This one is the Blue Pack S3, this one is the Richard Solo 1200, this is the Richard Solo 1800. This is their, um, whoa. <laughs> This kind of goes like this. This is a cheaper one, um, midline, really expensive. So let's start with the bottom line first, the Richard Solo 1200. So the Richard Solo 1200 is one of their, uh, their lower end, cheaper models of backup battery. And this one is made mainly for the iPhone and iPod Touch and anything with an Apple Jack because this one doesn't have another cable that you can connect to like a Blackberry or anything like that. Um, this is the one with the flashlight, so this one will run you uh, $39.95. So $40 is not a bad price for a really awesome backup battery that this is. Um, this is just what it comes with. You get the actual backup battery, some instructions. It's a backup battery. Um, this is the cable to charge a backup battery and this is a wall jack. So let's get into this. So this Richard Solo product is really, really nice. For $40, you are getting a really, really solid backup battery. This thing is all aluminum, and it feels really great in the hand. It's a little hefty. It's very nice. This is a connection port. As you can see, you can connect to your iPhone, iPod Touch there. And it comes with a cap, so that thing doesn't break off if you drop it. So it looks like that. So overall, look, it looks very nice. It's a really nice feeling matte aluminum. Um, so the interface here is pretty simple. This is if it's charging or not. Um, this is you know it's full battery or this is not full battery. So that's pretty. There's pretty simple indicators on the on the device um, telling you if it's fully charged or not, or you know if uh, if it still has some charge left in it. Down here we have the flashlight. You can turn that on. Just doing that. Whoa! <laughs> and this hole is for to put this for it to actually charge it into a wall jack. And I do believe you can actually charge it through a laptop uh, on a regular USB computer as well. I actually haven't tried that, I just did, did it through the regular wall jack. But I do believe that you can just charge it through a computer as well. Um, so as you can see, it's a very nice, really small, compact kind of size comparison. Um, and so if you're looking for a very basic backup battery, Oh, and uh, one thing I really I just didn't really like, but it's part of the design and you can't really change that, is that since there's no cable connecting this battery to the actual device, if you try to use this with a thicker case like the Spec Candy Shell, it won't work. It says it's charging, but my iPhone will say otherwise. You see that it is not charging. Right there. It's not. Um, so that's just because I have a thick case to call, um, like the Spec Candy Shell. Oh, this is the second time I'm doing this review because the first time, I don't know what happened to the video and it disappeared. So. Just whatever. Um, so yeah, that's just a simple minor complaint, but that's the whole design, I guess, and you can't really change that. Um, so if you have actually have a, like maybe really really thin silicone case, like the Incipio cases, maybe maybe that'll fit, maybe that'll work. One of the iFrogs, uh, something like that, or something that has a bigger open port down here. This actually, Richard Solo actually offers a case for the iPhone that works with one like this, but that's extra cost. So this is a Richard Solo 1200. This, uh, it's advertised that this will about recharge your phone once and still have maybe 25% left over um, of extra charge. And I found that to be pretty true. Um, this thing was able to recharge my phone uh, full time. I was using 3G and all that stuff and I completely drained this and then stuck this in it without a case and carried it around for a little bit and it charged it to a fully charge and still had some left over to charge my old iPod Touch. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good on that and for 40 bucks you were getting a really really nice solid product It's all aluminum feels extremely good. It looks really nice It's a very nice simple design and overall a really really great product I just didn't like how you know, it's really hard to use with a case a thicker case But that's just a minor complaint since I think you know, it's part of the design Because if it you want it to look like that it looks really nice and stuff and but when I was carrying around like that, I found it just really flimsy because you know it's it's a huge like this weird extension thing on the bottom of your phone. You gotta be really careful, you don't break it off or anything like that. Um, but that's that's pretty much it for that. So if yeah, if you're looking for 
if you're not going to be away from the wall jack that much, if if you know you're gonna ha you're not going to really need extra battery throughout the day, but you still want some extra battery, a little bit extra in case this is one of the better ones to go with since it's a one of the lower end ones and it still looks great, feels great, um, and it still will recharge your phone once fully. And really, again, these can all work with a lot of the iPods, all the iPods, all the iPhones, pretty much anything with the 32 pin jack. Just keep that in mind. So that's the Richard Silver 1200. I love this one. It feels so great. It's awesome. Um, that will run you again, $39.95. Now let's go to the middle one. This is the Richard Solo 1800. Now this is their midline one, and they have a couple versions of this. This one is the one um, that has a cable that connects between, as you can see here, it connects between the actual battery and the phone or the device. So you won't have the problem of it will be sticking out and it'll be, it might break off or anything like that. They do have a version like that, but they didn't send me that one. And I kind of like this one better. I like this one. Whoa. I like, uh-oh. Hold on. Um, so this one will run you $69.95. It's a little bit, and there's a little bit of a jump um, from this one, which is only $44, up to this one. But you're getting a bunch of cool stuff. You are getting a AC wall uh, charger, a two-port USB card charger, which I believe they sell separately for like 19 bucks. Um, and you get this little stringy cord to plug into the computer or whatnot, and this one that plugs directly into your Apple product to charge it. Um, so, yeah, let's just take a look at the actual Richard Solo 1800. Let's see. And honestly, I kind of, I did like this one. This one, um, they, whoa. Oops, I opened it on the wrong side. Um, they advertise that this one will recharge your device, I believe, twice and still have a tiny bit left over, or maybe just twice. I'm not quite sure. So in here, you have this giant box filled with a bunch of cables and this actual cable to charge the device, and you have the car charger in there as well. I'm not going to get into that because you don't really need to know about that. Um, so yeah. So this is the actual device itself. Here, actually, let me just get the cable to show you how it works. So this is the actual cable. You plug this into here. This plugs directly into your Apple device. So what you can do, actually, this one actually works pretty well with a case, so which is nice. I like that. I like this cable design. So you can actually do that and just kind of like leave it like that and carry it around like that so you won't have the extra battery that is really prone to, you know, breaking off and whatnot. So this is a nicer design. I really like this cable design better than this, um, this the direct insert <laughs> of the battery into the device. Um, one thing I did did have a little, you know, I just didn't, oh, 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 right. Let me just go over the device first. So here, it was pretty nice. It's made out of plastic. Keep that in mind. 70 bucks, you're getting a little plasticky feeling kind of device. It's still good though, but it's it just feels a little bit cheaper um, than this awesome aluminum feeling one right here, which is only $44. $44. Um, so I was a little disappointed. I was like, oh, it's plastic. Um, but it still works. It still feels pretty solid. It's nothing to complain about. Um, and it's a little lighter, I gotta say. So here, we have, this one actually comes with a laser and a light. So if we turn it on back here, laser, woo, ow, <laughs> sorry guys, and the flashlight. Um, so those work very well as well. And here's the charge icons, very simple. You don't really need to get into that. And here's the actual port to charger thing. Now, I've been using this one, um, I use this one a lot too, as well. And look at it, it <laughs> I dropped it on the pavement and it broke and now it won't fit into this at all because this thing snapped off so this one I wish they'd include like a cap or something that would you know attach on top of this to keep it protected because again I dropped it and now I can't even use it uh, so that's a big bummer bummer but if you're willing to pay the extra money and you want this extra feature you want a laser and stuff like that definitely go check this one out because this one's not bad at all um, it just feels a little bit cheap not, I'm saying it's not cheap. I'm not saying it's cheap. It just feels a little bit cheaper because it's made out of plastic. But that's really nothing to complain about. And I just want, I wish they'd include a cap. But overall, love this product. This one also comes with a free iPhone case, which is very nice. Um, on to the next one. All right, so this is, again, the Dexon Blue Pack S3. And this one is a hell of a big battery. This is a 2600 um, milliamp battery. And this one is a beast of a battery. This one will run you... Yep, $89.95, so that's a pretty expensive battery pack. Um, but if you're going to be spending that much money for the Richard Solo 1800, oh, what is it, 79 around? I would definitely consider looking into this one first. So this is the blue pack, and this one advertises that you can use it with pretty much anything. Blackberry, T-Mobile, HTC, all the iPods, iPhones, um, and they include a bunch of cables. Let's, see, let's show you right here. They include three cables, so you can use them with... Um, um, mini 5 pin, I don't really know what that is, 
a USB cable and a micro USB. So anything with a micro USB or a mini 5 pin, I don't really, I don't use mini 5 pin, but I don't really know what it is. And of course the Apple cable. Now this one, let's just get into it. This one comes with, of course, the blue pack, and this one is just such a great battery pack. Um, this is the charging cable to actually charge the battery. And as you can see, it's a two USB port. This is the, this is the charging uh, dock right here. You can see that, and this thing will charge this blue pack extremely fast. And this blue pack also charges your phone extremely, extremely quickly. About 30 minutes, uh, I want to say 45 to an hour, it brought my iPhone from zero charge to around 50, 60, 70 percent, which is absolutely incredible. So what it comes with is some manuals, um, a nice carrying case, that's the extension cord, and back here you'll see are all the cables. This is the micro USB and this is I think the mini 5 pin or whatever that is. Whatever care, um, whatever device uses mini 5 pin, it's in here. Um, so this is the one and they're pretty short so it's nice so you won't have this long annoying wire. Uh, let's go over the interface really quick. So what we have here is a very very sleek really nice feeling aluminum. It feels sort of just like the 1200 but this one's black and it feels great. It's really, really thin. It's a very thin profile and it feels great. It, um, this, this one has three LEDs right here, which will tell you if it's full or not. This is the USB port where you actually charge the device. You can see here, the USB. Plug it in right that. This is how to charge it and you do have a light. And to turn on that light, you just hold down this button right here, which usually tells you which LED, um, how much charge is left in this thing. Um, in terms of quality and build, this thing is ridiculous. I mean, I guess for $89, you're expecting a really great product and you are getting a really, really great product. Uh, uh, let me see here. I've dropped this countless times. I've put this in with keys and stuff and you can see the only scratch that this thing has ever gotten is right there. See that thing right here? Right there. Right there. You see it, right? Right there. And so this thing is a solid piece of work. You see that? No scratches at all. That's not a scratch. And it's such a great device. So this thing, I was able to go three to three and a half full days without having to plug my phone into a wall outlet or my computer. And it only ran on this. That is incredible. That is awesome. I don't... They don't tell me how many um, charges it can do, but it says it can increase your battery time to up to 10 hours of talk time, 20 hours of videos, and 80 hours of music. So that's a lot of minutes to use for this battery pack. Um, so if you're willing to go all out with a battery pack, if you want to spend $89 and you're willing, and you know you're going to need a really, really great battery and you're going to be away from your computer a lot and you really do want... Um, that that much extra battery. The blue pack is probably the best one for you. Uh, I'd, if you're willing to spend eighty nine dollars, I'd skip the eighteen hundred and go straight to the blue pack because this one is a beast of a battery, and it will it's gonna last you a while because this is a solid aluminum product and it feels so great in the hand. It looks great. It's thin. Um, with this plugged in, what you can do actually, which I usually do when walking around with this thing, is do this. And you see that you won't have the problem of uh, like the 1200, it won't be wobbly out here, and it's a very slim profile and it fits right in your hand very nicely. Um, so there you go, that's the review of my Richard Solo products they sent me. We have the Blue Pack S3, wonderful product, $89. We have these Richard Solo 1800, a little bit plasticky feeling, but that's not a problem. It's still a great backup battery, it comes with a laser too and a flashlight. Um, and we have the Richard Solo. 1200. All three of them are amazing products and I would definitely go check their website out down below. Thank you Paul over there at Richard Solo for sending these out to me. Um, I'll see you guys around. I'll put up everywhere. Hope this video wasn't too long. Uh, peace.